You must not contradict adults. You must not lie. You must not play with fire. You must not use sharp objects. All right, we are back to some more wholesome family fun. <laughs> Here in Edna and Harvey, Harvey's new eyes, our adorable main character, Lily, is here. We have to apparently find a diary, which is supposed to, I think, get us out of here, because Dr. Marcel's on the way, but unfortunately, nothing so simple. I think it went up to Mother Superior's office, if I'm correct, so. Finally, there you are. Lumpy starving. Did you get the cat food? Uh-uh. What? And then you dare return here? Off with you! Out! 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 Oh! How I loathe these ch ch children! Okay, well that's gonna be a problem acquiring this diary because we need the, the food for Lumpy still. Alright buddy, you know what? We've messed around long enough. I need that freaking recipe. Give it to me. Shawnee was mean. First, he had stolen Lily's recipe, and now he was setting cobwebs at the well on fire. Still, Lily didn't think he deserved having spiders lay eggs in his eye sockets at night. Good children didn't have such thoughts. Mm-hmm. They, they don't, in case you were wondering. Uh, you guys also showed up, right? Oh, didn't we? Lily liked the sparrows. She would have never dreamed of shooting at them. On the other hand, she had to impress Shawnee to get the recipe. I'm sorry, buddies. Oh, oh no. That's even worse. <laughs> Look at his face. Lily might have missed the sparrows, but her effect on Shawnee was apparent. He actually seemed a little impressed. I don't think that's impressed. I think this man fears for his life now. I, I killed an endangered species. Okay, my friend, I need this thing now. Give it to me. Shawnee seemed very anxious. Lily preferred not to talk to him in this state. She didn't want to risk him pulling out her braids, but she also needed the recipe. What could she do to get a nasty boy like Shawnee to calm down? Well, he's already terrified of me. If he doesn't give me the recipe, I will kill him. I will shoot him point blank. Don't make... Oh, I don't have the musket anymore, of course. <laughs> he's got a lighter, conveniently. Hey, um... <laughs> hey, child, do you... How about smoking? Smoking's supposed to have a soothing effect. You, you want cigarettes? Lily had heard that cigarettes were supposed to have a soothing effect. That's exactly what I said. I mean, don't. Hooray! What a great job Lily had done. Shawnee seemed to feel much better already. You can tell by the way his pupils were slowly rotating towards the inside. <laughs> well, we got a cigarette here. We'll use this as a reminder as to hopefully Lily doesn't smoke in the future. And more importantly, we got the recipe. I'm pretty sure that's what he handed to me. Yes, perfect. Well, before we go back, let's see. Yep. Well, you know what? It's not as gruesome as I thought it would be. Back off we go, let's go leave this recipe with Doris and get back into... Right. Oh! You have the recipe? Uh-huh. Well then, let me see it! I can manage that! Duck roast for Lumpy! Good choice! All I need is the canned food for Mother Superior's meal from the cellar! But I can't start cooking again anyway! As long as the stove isn't working! Mother Superior will have to wait for the cat food! Huh. I wouldn't want to be in your shoes when you give her the news! Oh... That's right, we blew it up. This had to be the canned food Doris was talking about. Lily selected pigeon flavor. Not duck? Eh, what up? So, we gotta... Fix you up or something, right? The stove was black and empty just like the mirror yeah we, we we've heard that before narrator doesn't really give me an idea what to do with this freaking stove though what can we do here um i mean can we just like turn it on the good old-fashioned way put a block of wood in there and burn it lily had placed Yo. the log in the stove now she just had to light it 
Okay. Well, in a way, we're also getting rid of the evidence of Edna. With the Edna and Lily Hart thing, so let's go ahead. Look at that. Guess when you hear that cigarette after, huh? Still have it, too. Okay, so the stove's on. We got ourselves again food. Doris, there's no reason why you should not be able to do this for us now, okay? We've, we've taken care of a lot of issues for you. Here, here's the canned food. Give it to me. Ah, you found the canned food! Uh-huh. Very good. I guess that means I can start cooking the meal now. I'll put the roast for the cat in the dumbwaiter right away. But I won't be able to fit anything else in there. I can't send Mother Superior's food up until you put the empty plate back in the dumbwaiter. Got it? Uh-huh. Yeah, let's just hope so. Oh, there's the missing child. I was beginning to hope you'd been eaten by a wild animal on the way, but at least you brought the food. I have to finish a few tasks now. Feed Lumpy while I'm gone, and don't even think about leaving the office before the work is done. A wild animal such as a, a puma, perhaps? Huh? Puma? Yeah. Alright, well, um, oh, there it is. Perfect. So, we got a hook. Painting still lumpy. Pet bowl. Here's a roast. Man, this cat... Living the life over here. A roast, huh? That had to be lumpy's dinner. Yeah. No kidding. He eats a lot better than I do. There you go, buddy. How disappointing. It seemed Lumpy didn't feel like eating roast at all. How would Lily ever finish her task now? What do you mean he doesn't want to eat it? Eat the freaking food! It's 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 custom made for you! It's an entire roast! Okay, we can take it back. Well, what about the... <laughs> the man-eating plant over here? You want a roast, buddy? Seems like something up your alley. There you go. Yeah, he's good. I was gonna kill him or something, but no, he's fine. Okay, so we got the blade now. Send it back down. Yeah. Mother Superior's food. Cat food with pigeon flavoring. The cafeteria never served anything this delicious. Is that specifically uh, Mother Superior's... Well, I mean, I guess she wanted duck roast, but we got the pigeon one instead. <laughs> Why, why is there a, now that I think about it too, why is there a freaking canned pigeon food? Lumpy obviously enjoyed the pigeon flavored cat food. And it really looked like he already had an idea where to get second. Too bad the wall was too smooth for his claws. The pigeon. There it makes sense, okay. Um, okay, so... Now, now he's got a taste for pigeons, and he's gonna go kill that pigeon for me and get them to die. Alright, kitty cat, you're gonna help me out. I, I have no idea what it is I gotta do, though. It's too smooth for you to climb up, I get that. Well, there's a hook over here, what can we put in this hook? The grain screen, I guess, maybe we could put that? Yeah, alright. So the thing I had on me, it would probably work. Get, get him, buddy! Someone was in a rush. Oh, that's what Lumpy had smelled. The pigeon that had stolen Edna's diary was sitting on one of the beams. Right. Go! Destroy Lumpy! Go ahead and destroy. Destroy! What do we got? <laughs> well, we got a balloon, so we gotta do something for it to reach over there, we have a balloon. Do we combine that with the firecrackers, make some noise, maybe? Oh, that worked. Okay. Do we scare the cat or the pigeon? Maybe the cat, right? But what was the point? Oh. Lumpy hated parties. Okay. Well, I skipped the first line there by mistake, but apparently it's not for him. Maybe it's for the pigeon. It was a tricky plan, but Lily was running out of options. No, oh, there it goes. Oh, he flew off with the firecrackers. That changes everything. My goodness! I see that Lumpy has finally had a meal. Why, this is quite a surprise. Perhaps all hope is not lost for you yet after all. And now leave me alone. Ah, oh, maybe I was too strict with a girl and her fellow students. They're only 
children after all. Was I too hasty, Lord? Should I stop Dr. Marcel from coming before he tries his new method on the children? Please, give me a sign. What's that? She having a change of heart now or what? A dove? Or at least a pigeon of peace? Is this your sign? Should I spare the children? Oh, Lord. Thank you. I... What? That ch 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 Those damn ch ch children That's it! I finally reached my limit! Lily! Damn it. When Lily walked into the sleeping quarters, Edna was gone. All she found was a hastily scribbled letter on her bed. Take care, Lily Fred. I have to go. This situation is getting too hot for me to stay. I'll wait for you at the swing tree for a bit. If you hurry, you might still catch me. Otherwise, you can find my hiding place in the map in my diary. I'm sure you've already found it, right? Stay dirty. Love, Edna. The letter made Lily nervous. She had to catch up with Edna at all costs. Psst! Lily, hurry! This way! The doctor and Mother Superior are already hot on your heels! Lily looked all around in surprise. What kind of strange place was this? You're probably asking yourself what kind of strange place this is, right? But there's no time for explanations now. Come on, hurry! Okay, a lot's already happened. We were so close to having her give a change of heart and then we blew up the freaking pigeon. And this is where the painting's at. So he's been like supervising, or not supervising, but monitoring the entire time. Why? I thought he was a bad dude. First, Lily wanted to play with Garrett's stuff for a while. Where are they? They can't be far. On the other hand, she wasn't interested in these technical knickknacks at all. Oh, well, I guess we'll go. Stop dragging! Let's go! I don't know what to make of this. <laughs> I don't know what to make of this all. I thought Garrett was a bad dude. He seems to be helping us out. Maybe. Stop! That's Dr. Marcel with Mother Superior. I don't think they've seen us yet. She isn't in her bunk, but she can't be far. I'm surprised that you tolerate this kind of insubordination in your convent. I'll have the entire ground search for her immediately. Do that. All of this seems unpleasantly familiar to me. Let's go. This is our chance. Hmm. Oh, he's in a wheelchair too because of the old tumble that he took with Edna back in the day. Well, I guess we meet up with Lily, or Edna, if she's still around. Oh, there's the diary. When Lily reached the swing tree, she found no trace of Edna. Garrett had vanished too, but the remnants of Edna's diary were lying in the grass. Along with a uh, super crispy or charred up pigeon as well. It had been burned, and was no longer readable. Only the map of Edna's hiding place could still be deciphered. Ah, it's a cave at Moore Lake. Lily was just trying to memorize the way when... Psst, Lily! Hide! Dr. Marcel and Mother Superior are coming! Oh no, too late! There she is! Huh. You probably thought you could escape my examination, huh? Or is there another reason for disobeying Mother Superior's instructions? Uh-huh. Well, let's hear it. Entertain us. Um, you see, Edna, who is never around when I need her, told me that you're a bad dude. It's all Edna's fault. It, it kind of really is. Garrett made me do it. Dr. Marcel is evil. Berries from Mother Superior? Berries? Nazi vampires, yeah. Yeah, I did it because of the Nazi vampires. This is taking too long for my taste. Well, what are you going to do? I mean, I told you about the Nazi... Are you going to shoot? 
Was that really necessary? Not really, but it brought some satisfaction to an old man who has had to deal with defiant children one too many times. Taste. You must not contradict adults. You must not lie. You must not play with fire. You must not use sharp objects. You must not touch alcohol. You must not hang around dangerous places. You must not lose control. And you must never follow your own wishes. Woogie, woogie. Woogie, woogie. Woogie. <laughs> Woogie indeed. <laughs> and? Did it work? We'll find out in a moment. Lily, I'm sure you can tell me who's responsible for all the chaos in this institution. Woogie. <laughs> The chaos, Lily. Who's responsible? Now start talking, you useless ch 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 Remain calm, Mother Superior. She'll answer. She'll answer. Do you know the answer, Lily? Who's responsible? You can tell me, can't you? What's going on? What did she say? This case is more complicated than I thought. It's eminently important that you tell me something. Do you know a girl by the name of Edna? Why do you ask? I think I've just pinpointed the root of all this evil. It's good that I was able to install all of the important behavioral blocks inside Lily with the aid of my new hypnotherapy. Hypnotherapy? Hypnosuggestion, to be precise. The light diodes that I have installed in the eyes of this stuffed rabbit help me take direct control over Lily's free will. From now on, she will behave very calmly. But here, just try it out for yourself. Try it out? That's right. She's now as obedient as a little lamb. Well... Go ahead. Lily, serve the doctor and me some tea. Bravo! Ha ha ha! Well, I'm thirsty anyway. What do you say now, Lily? Would you like to serve her some tea? N no! No, you evil man! And he took Harvey and he installed... A mind control thing on Harvey, that's the way he betrayed us. Ah! Oh, you scum! I get shocked. Uh-uh. Ah, fine. Uh-huh. <laughs> the hell is this? Restrictions? Make fire? I can't make fire. I cannot contradict the adults. Can't drink alcohol. Well, you know, I'm a little bit young for that. Can't lie. Cannot enter dangerous places, use sharp objects, get angry, and do whatever I want. I guess when we do that is when we get shocked. And this map's still here. All right. Well, I guess we gotta get you scumbags some tea, huh? Psst, Lily. Garrett? Oh, he's behind the painting again. Don't be afraid, Lily. It's me, Garrett. Please, stay calm. You were hypnotized by Dr. Marcel, and now you're completely in his control. But don't worry, I can help you. But you'll have to come with me to my secret room. You can find the entrance in front of Mother Superior's office, in the dark corner next to the fireplace. But first, I need your help. I've been watching Mother Superior and the Doctor for a long time, and I'm very close to unveiling their evil deeds. All I need is a confession. Here, take this extract of Deadly Nightshade. It's a truth serum. Pour it into Mother Superior's tea. As soon as she drinks it, she'll start spilling all of her secrets. Did you understand? Uh-huh. Excellent. 
Lily, what are you doing? You're supposed to be making us tea, not staring at paintings. Oh, don't be so harsh on her. Lily will complete her task. But I have to confess that I have also admired your gallery. I'm especially interested in this embroidery over here. It's a bit unusual, don't you think? Oh, that one. It's just an old keepsake. Hardly worth mentioning. I can't even remember hanging it there. You can't? Interesting. What is it actually an embroidery of? An eight-legged unicorn? It's only the embroidery of a dumb, irresponsible... Ch 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 child Nothing else. Mm-hmm. Whoa. <laughs> All right, well... I mean, I think Garrett's trying to help us, maybe, but... Truth Serum, Deadly Nightshade, doesn't really add up, you know? Either way, what a time. I'm gonna wrap it up here for this one. A lot of story progression right now, so I'm really digging it thus far. Hopefully you guys are as well. Stick around for the next episode. I will catch you next time.